Frostbite we got take so over. much to discuss. Do you want frostbite to? You know what? No, I would not. Okay. You know, you know we, now. Yeah. I, I want to start with sure. this. Okay. Well, he has an impeccable smile. He gets me through my day. When I come home from work, I look at his goddamn eyes. I'm glad to know and that. You know what I see? I'm really happy to know that. Yeah. Joy. What? Yes, I see and it I say, too. You know what? This I see motherfucker it too. had it right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he did. And he killed. Probably he really 20 did. people. And he can look break, at me like that and you go. Know. And you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of gremlins. You he, know, uh, he did he it. He has spirit. Because <laughs> I don't know if I, you know, I don't know if I feel the same. But, you know, right. when I look at him and I see that joy coming out of a murderer, I love it. I'm like, <laughs> they can have feelings too. Yeah. It, it's, that makes it feel impossible not to have feelings. It's really incredible. That, like a rainbow it is. shoots out their torso and I know, me. Right. And it makes me feel like uh, right. a salty snack. Right. I mean, I literally came just thinking about what you yeah, said. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I really did. I didn't say nothing. I really did. God, big. Scary. See, what the fuck? I got here? Man, I'm just. Man, I was working on this yesterday. It's bad. I'm sitting in a puddle. I even put it on Instagram. I'm literally in a puddle right now. It's bad. Top news. <laughs> We finally got the new ink. The reason the magazine hasn't been coming out is because they are very stingy on the tri ink. They really are. We boosted it's no up. Joke. I can't say it enough. We boosted up the business level. Business class. level. Business. Business level. Mm -hmm. Now, I was saying, you know, we was going. this last magazine was going to be our last magazine. But, but to be honest with you. We can't quit it. I can't quit it because people can't. are loving the magazine so much. You're like, I want to collect more. So my madness will go on since I upgraded to the business class because these motherfuckers are stingy okay. with the color ink yeah, and we they use are. a lot of it because we want to give you the best shit, you know, we don't send no half-ass quality. No. no. Um, Something's going on. What is, what is that bird that? doing? He's, Film him. Get, what is he get, doing? get him on camera in case I die tonight so we'll know. Why are sure. you doing... He was rubbing his cheek against the mirror and he just had his little head cocked and I don't know why. Now he acts all innocent. Yeah, now he's really bashful. So yeah. Okay. Um I was gonna stop the magazine after this last one, but guess what? We're just gonna rename it. We already have the name of the 
next coming issue. Yes, Should we, we go ahead and tell them? We already told them yesterday. <laughs> Wait, what was it? <laughs> it's the homeless. It's the homeless of the sounds of beheadings. It's bad. And the sounds of beheadings. Really bad. It's going to be fucking I already have. Awesome. I already have a new idea for one of the pages, but we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, it's, it's really <laughs> under wraps right now. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So good. Travis Scott spotted facing his $14 million house because he is about to lose it all. I've heard of this. Still, I don't give a fuck. And fuck him. Yeah, what's his deal? Oh, uh, that's the guy. So, I don't know. There's conspiracies about him. He was doing a concert. And people died and the stage collapsed. And he's supposed to be a Satanist. And okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but if you walk okay. in front of a $14 million house, and you're pacing around because you're going to lose it all. Right. Go fuck yourself. Exactly. <laughs> I don't care. Boo fucking who? Yeah, I mean SpaghettiOs for dinner. Yeah, who bitch. Cares? 85 cents. They're going to call me. My rapper name going to be 85 cents. <laughs> 85 cents. <laughs> fuck you. I love it. I love it too, man. And you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. Coming to a town near you. 85 cents. <laughs> I put the pepper sauce in my spaghetti. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Now mama's catching me. Sleeping with another hoe. Oh, wow. Up in the bedroom. Okay, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Spaghetti. <laughs> Flipping Scary. little beans on wow. the second floor. Okay. Nice. That's really yeah. nice. You know, ah! okay. Yeah. Ah! Anyway, we got to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's that's what he, he got famous for. Okay. Yeah. There, that's scary. That's <laughs> really scary. Solar storms and... There's these solar storms, right? Sure. It's supposed to be hitting our earth. Okay. <laughs> and the thing okay. is, I was thinking. Yeah. Is well, I keep waiting <laughs> for them to blow out the internet and, and the energy. It, you know, I cannot wait for an asteroid or a solar storm to blow every yeah. fucking thing fucked <laughs> out. Because sure. I think I would be happier. Yeah, okay. Because I can cool. actually think for once. I, said, I just sat in a dark hallway at this think wow. about life for a week. Sure. I would Sounds love good. It. That that would that, but people would lose their mind if yeah, they don't they have would. a phone for like a fucking day. Yeah. I would just sit there and I'd be like, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I, I would love a blackout. Mm -hmm. For a week. Just for a week. I just yeah. hope I'm not on a plane when it happens. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. or under a plane when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> scary. But man, I feel like really man, they, they talk about that shit and I'm like, oh, that'd be the greatest. Yeah. Sure. Um uh, I wouldn't what, mind what do it. You think? That would be okay. Uh, right. Like Like I said, the real <laughs> Did I was reading uh, something astral projection okay. and a demon can steal your body while you're gone. Yes. Yes, that's a real concept. Sure. Why not? That's, I mean, I wouldn't that's say horrible. that's far-fetched, yes. Well, if you consider the the concept that our body is a vessel. Um, now, something could invade it, it being a vessel. It could get in there. Now, mister, the same thing can also happen to inanimate objects. So, yeah. Yeah, of, yeah, you're right. right? I um, didn't think like Tobias, <laughs> Tobias yeah, actually, yeah, could get, get possessed with a sloth no. or a doll, well, something well, like see, that, with a face, right? That's with this one. Something with a face could actually become but the thing is, is possessed. How I got this? That's no joke. Very special to me because I was. They wouldn't even let me pay for it. They just right. wanted me to take it. It's so cute though. 
Very sweet. But man, I, I, I just feel like I get good vibes though. Child, yeah, but I get I good know. vibes about that one. About that doll, but you know, tens of billions Mr. of Americans. I'm not done. Oh. I'm not done. I do have a personal story to relate to what you said about demons stealing whatever, um, souls or whatever. Now, they can invade not only us, but as I said, inanimate objects, and lo and behold, my own father told me when I was five. I had to be five years old, five or seven. And he said, because I asked him, are demons real? And I remember he, um, here, I'll, I'll, I'm so used to using the mic now. Is it even on? Is it on? Is it on? Can anyone hear me? Okay, anyway. He froze in the kitchen. He was making coffee at the time, and he said, yes, they do. But he explained to me that demons can be found in abandoned places, like abandoned homes. They can be found in places that people don't frequent that often, like basements. And he said his own mother bought a doll, an old doll from, it, it, it was a thrift store. Now this thing had no contravance in it whatsoever. I mean, it didn't have any kind of levers or anything. It wasn't battery operated. It was old. It was like an old, maybe like an old porcelain doll, something like that. Or a rag doll, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's no reason for this thing to be talking. That's what I'm trying to say to you. This thing should not have been talking at all. And it did! It started talking on its own! It didn't have a voice box? It didn't have a voice box. It had nothing in it. A lever or um, anything. Nothing. It had no batteries. It, nothing. This thing would talk on its own. So, it, anyway, what my grandma did, because it was her doll, she took it and... She had to have it removed. It had to be destroyed. Burn. Right, because according to her religion, that's evil. I mean, that's they, they're, oh. that's not good. You don't oh, want no, that around. I <laughs> no, I'd burn it. Right, so they, they did. They had to get well, rid of that. I had, I had a, I had a, I, I don't know. I, I, I grew up, I don't know if I suffered from schizophrenia or mm -hmm. what, but I grew up with these toys and the reason I couldn't have any toys in the room mm -hmm. is when I was left alone with them at night, they were possessed and Teddy Rupskin and all these characters, they would sing to me at night like these weird Charlie Manson songs. Right. And that's how it, it, they would sing these weird songs to me. It's scary. And they wanted me to join them. Well, and I, and, but the thing is, is I would scream because they would come, they would wait until everybody was asleep around 3 a.m. and they would always sing to me at night and keep, and they wow. would, and my mom had to hide all of them in another room and I couldn't have anything with eyes. Right. In the room. Scary. But the thing is, is I would hallucinate, but I don't know if it was real, but they, right. that's, that's what, why the psychiatrist and shit came involved. Well, right. I'm telling you. Right. The motherfuckers were getting off the I shelf believe it. I and believe talking that. to me. Right. And that's no uh, lie. No one, no one, I but believe that. you know what? I, 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 I just accepted it. Because right. I got tired of being caught crazy. And now, they listen right. to me. Right. But the thing is, is, it was a real, real burden on my life growing right. up. Now, um, and it was so crazy. Deep. And I think it's where I grew up. Something about that hill. It's, um, it, to me, if you want to know what I think about it, it's, um, because Native Americans once lived there, that land, um, it may be sacred ground to them. Now, one of the things that you should pay attention to is the location, because you have many waterways around where you live. And that tends to be where they would bury oh, their... Oh they're dead and so forth well, um is, lakes and and whatnot what but the, fuck? the only thing is shit? you um, know what one life to live right but you know i just i just try to respect right what's around me but, but really i don't give a we shit we don't really know what went on there we don't I, know it's not so gonna it doesn't i'm not know. gonna fucking be sitting here 
great. Fuck a being a hippie and do it. Fucking no, well, dance you don't have to. No, fuck no, all no, no, no. <laughs> you know what? No. I'm fucking one life to live. Okay, well, honey, I don't believe and in I'm that either. Do it my way. I don't believe in that either. But, However. But it was weird. That's just all I'm saying. Right. But I used to have fevers and right. I used to have the bad hallucinations. Okay. But I, don't, but I grew out of it. Right. Well, I do good now. I'm, Mr. I'm not scared of nothing, but I've seen some wicked shit. Yeah, so have I. You know, I stepped over dead bodies, you know. It's, um, I lived in Newark, New Jersey. It was a great experience. And all those fevers and shit don't mean nothing. No. After what I've seen in real life. No. Um, what I'm saying is that it could be sacred ground where you lived. Technically, where we live right now is sacred ground. Weird. There are back. grave bury yeah burial mounds out back, yeah. but it doesn't bother us. Nobody's being bothered. No, no one's being real. Bothered. We're not doing anything. Now some people who do weird occult stuff, <laughs> I don't believe yeah, in that. I, I, okay, I don't get involved okay, because they can they can make things really twisted. But um, I, no, I, I, I like, uh, I, like uh, I believe things. it. I believe that you experience those things as a child, no doubt. It's um. Oh uh, no, it was very crazy. No, I don't think you would have any reason to make that up. That's scary. <laughs> it's terrifying. Aliens, viruses, mind control, empty pockets, obsessed with the witchery. Behold the death of us all. Moloch, show the therapy is on its floor for its own depression. I'm still waiting to get locked down in my house for a year. What will happen? That's really hot and I wasn't done. Um, actually, <laughs> um, you want to know what my thoughts are on the the, the astral projection real quick yeah. so what I think happens there this is excluding inanimate objects this is talking strictly about us now if you do astral project in your sleep in theory you have a spirit self or what they call that etheric self and it is able in the in the process of astral projection to leave the body, leave your body, and travel as you sleep. So, it's possible that something could invade your body as you sleep. That That's true. It, it is. But it, it's not always demonic, either. Well, I would say even other spirits could do the same thing. They could get in your body. <laughs> Scary. Right. That's right? why I sleep face down. Yeah. So, you know, it, just this is for folks who don't know what astral projection you know is, because not everyone knows what down. that is. Yeah, because you don't want to so be... So the world can kiss my ass? No, well, yeah, I do. <laughs> but, <laughs> I do. But the thing is, um, is but sometimes when I want, I, I would lay on my back to, like, let loose. Maybe, like, meditate or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and let go. I do that. Yeah. But that, but the thing is, is if I'm really sleeping, I don't sleep on my back. No. I'm scared of something. Right. Because they, it can get into the chest. That's right. So I sleep on my face. That's right. Um, but, chest. But but, but I like to lay on my back and I put your my head hands out and your head. They can enter yeah, through your head or yeah, your chest. I mean, but that that's really right? when you really that's right. Relax, you know. Um. In Japanese, but I usually do it during certain times of right. day. In Japanese culture, um, when the samurai took their own life, if they had to, they would cut the abdomen, and they believe that the spirit exits through there, down there, or up here. So sometimes if they could not carry through with the cutting of their abdomen, they had someone there to assist them to, to cut their throat, but they couldn't sever the head from the body. Because Would you do that for me? The head, because if you sever the head from the body, the soul can't rest. Would you do that for me? Those are two areas that the spirit leaves. So yes, Would through the head or me? the lower region. Would you do, would you do that? Would I do that for you? Well, luckily you don't have to do that. We don't we don't live according to those customs. 
I mean, I would really not want to have to be in a situation where I'd have to do that to you now. Just because I know you personally and I... No. No, I can't know. You don't think so? I just don't... No, I wouldn't do that. No, you'd have to have somebody else do that. Okay. Um, as for Moloch, um, would you like to describe Moloch to the folks? Oh, this is my uh, favorite topic. Uh, Moloch! Moloch is a devastating creature. It's, it reminds me of the fact that when I clock in every day, I use a program, program called Cronus, and I can't get over this enough. He is the god of time, and he eats his children. Yes. And I'm an enslavement, and he's eating my soul. And that is a father of Moloch. So what they're telling you, and he, and the, my my manager himself called himself a dictator. Once you clock in, and these words bother me because if you're a dictator and you're a Moloch and you're eating me as a child, why do I give a fuck about you and your company dying? So one way or another, I'm gonna burn this motherfucker to the ground. So <laughs> Mola! Yeah. Mola! Do it! You can't eat this one. I'm a <laughs> rock great bitch. Great. So Mola! Because he was the only one who escaped. He Guess was what? the only son. You know who David is in the Bible? Who escaped? You fucking right. with the wrong one. Right. I'm the beloved motherfucker, right. and you can suck my. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we get it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Blessed one. Oh, drink the tea. Set it down. Taste my penis to <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Oh, you got a game? Gosh. Yeah, I do. You got a game? I really do. You want the mic? Sure, if it even works for me. Why do I feel like it's not no, working? No, 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 it works. It Why works. do I feel? Trust me, it's working. It's working. It's not working. Okay, alright, this is. I got the levels up and everything. Give me the damn mic. Give it to me now. Okay, all right. <laughs> you want me to boost your volume? No. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I am. I'm soft spoken. I really am. I pretend like I'm loud, but I'm not. I'm really not. I wear out my voice really fast. I do. It's no joke. What is happening? That's a lot. It sounds weird. I think it's okay. Okay, it just uh, yeah. seems weird. I didn't know. I'm not a sound engineer. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So. All right. Um, there's a lot of equipment going on. Yeah. And, you know, some of us are still. On and I don't know. Shit. I'm. I'm. You right. know. I'm just kind of fly it. Okay. That's know, that's It'll you know right. That's like me with you look hot my medication. Actually, I feel like a <laughs> no, no. Why are you um, that no. I'm actually, I hot. you said I look hot, but I actually I, no. I feel like a a mom. I feel like I'm in mom mode. <laughs> 
because it's, it's fit that day where I'm just babysitting you. <laughs> I've got dirty hair, but okay, thank you. Does the little hair got dirty hair? Yeah, we both have dirty hair. We both nah, do. Just We've just been it. going at it hard on the weekend. It's, we just party. That's all. That's all it is. It's, it's something else. It's really great. It's, no, it, it was, it's amazing. It, 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 no, I went to the store to get spicy meatballs. I okay. think we done told the story. And, right. and they, they treated me like I was still. And, right. and I was just buying some meatballs. And I said, give me my shit, you know. I know. I know. But... You know, when you live in the South and you look like this, it doesn't really... Yeah, they wonder, like, what's his deal? Who the hell does but he I'm, think I'm he is? I'm the type of motherfucker that would slap the shit out of you. Who I, I, but, you know, we don't live in a time where you yeah. can do that no more. But I remember a time when you could fucking slap the shit yeah. out of somebody. And that's how you get your point across. Okay. Right. You can't that's do that I'm shit right. no more. And I just... Right. I'm not used to this time. So this one... Has a title. I don't. Oh fuck. I don't know. I space out. I re- well, they all do, but I have a space. I, I space out when I do this. So um, mm. stop it. That is so gross. <laughs> that is so nasty. Get it out of here. Gosh. God. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Gosh. Okay. So this one is get with it or fall behind. Yeah. Mister, could you please? Why do you have to do that to Tobias? Look, Marco, Tobias that's is probably really... Marco's food. Right. It's like, fuck that cat. Sure. Bias <laughs> don't have no where to go. So, yeah, fuck him. He's taking a time okay, out. All right, so let's let's just move on. I'm nervous about this. So. How okay? How you move forward in how you treat your time is imperative to your destiny. You must decide who you will be and where you will go. And so this is just following the normal tradition um, of the game. The one I did last week was really epic. I know that. And I'm going to get back to that concept again. The one with the cards? Because I think it went over well. I think it was really good. (laughs) I was very happy. I was proud of it. I put a lot of work into that. Now, this is just following the same... Um, I got some Quentin Tarantino vibes on this The beat. same, right. Same integrity of the game. But we'll get back to the cards next week, I guess. So what you say? Um, it says how you move forward and how you treat your time is imperative to your destiny. You must decide who you will be and where you will go. So pick a number between 1 through 4 to determine who you are. Two. <laughs> what? You were flipping me off. You did it on purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna go with two. two is the traveler. You chose to be the traveler. Okay. You are open-minded, sagacious, and affable. So you have a, a keen, keen judgment, keen sight, and you're friendly. Subject to instantaneous changes on account of your willingness to adopt new theories and philosophies. Your high suggestibility could be your weakness, however, or it could lead to empowerment. Would you say that you're highly suggestible suggestible by nature? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd accept that. Seems to fit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that you're the traveler. I really, I really like to listen, and I'm so, like, I submit to a lot of, I'm, I'm as open-minded as being, right. I, I mean, submit to uh, other people's ideas just to see how they feel. That's what this is. You, yeah, you know what I'm that's saying? The I'm not, I'm not, I'm down to, you know, study it. And when you do travel, you do open your but, mind. But, you, you know. Inevitably do. I like mm-hmm. to feel it, you know. Yeah. But that don't mean I'm going to like it or Travelers, travelers. I just, wanna, I just like I like to taste it, you know. They, That's what I learned when I when I moved up north to New Jersey, and that's when I really changed the way I saw life because I had to learn how to eat different foods. Right, that's right. I was starving, didn't have much mm-hmm. money, but I I learned different cultures and yeah, and I really learned about other things, and that that was a really good it, life it's lesson. Good. 
it opens up your your mind and your yeah, heart. Yeah, for the longest time I, I was just learning Spanish. Yeah. Just hanging out in the Spanish markets, but I learned to love things I would never have known about. Right. Learned music. So uh, you are... I mean, I learned I learned like different like Spanish music. Mm-hmm. So you're a handler. Yeah, man, but that's good. Yes, but it was really did. healthy. I was so glad I did that. It's, and now you step back, and I can't say it enough. I can't even believe where I've been. Yeah. <laughs> like, I look back, and I'm like, I cannot believe the places I've been. Texas mm-hmm. and New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And now I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. How did I end up back It's okay. Here? That's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's okay. You know, but it happens. it's just like, it's yeah. amazing, though. It's like, I was on the road, and that's how where I found, in Weehawk in New Jersey, that's where I found Jack Kerouac. Right. At about 25. Yeah. I was already at Bukowski, Allen Ginsberg, but I really read on the road around 25, because I didn't have, I always hung out at the library. My whole life I hung out at libraries, but Weehawk has this fucking awesome library. Mm-hmm. And it, you get on the elevator and you go up to the second floor and I found Jack Kerouac's on the road. Mm-hmm. Changed my fucking life forever. Yes. Alright, so you're the traveler. And I didn't want to give and, it uh, back okay. and they said I had to. And you, okay, alright. But I had blood stains on it, but That's I'm cool. done with yeah. it. But I said, yeah. can I just give you money for it? And they, they would not <laughs> no. let me buy it. I no. said, no. And John Wilmot's another book. Back yeah. in the day, I would get ordered like twice a month. And it ended up going back. It always had blood stains and blanks. <laughs> it didn't always do. Books always right. got sent back. I'm like, That's embarrassed. Hot. Really hot. And I'm like, you gonna, can I just pay for it? And they're like, no, this is a historical book. I was like, this is my blood. That's true. Right. But the thing is, it, it always had blood okay. stains and white stains. Okay. Every time. Let's, let's, let's move the, the, On the road in and, and the John Wilmot book, I fucking destroyed so okay. bad. And it was original. Well, let's move on here, because I don't, like I said, I don't know how um, how this is going to go. Yeah, let's, so let's you, not you, worry you chose, about that. You, 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 uh, you chose. You chose to. The Traveler, um, do you want to know the other options? I had yeah, to write all of this. Yeah, what's the other options? What, what, what's the other options? So one is The Dweller. You are That's stubborn, a yet, a gamer. yet constant and steady. What you dwell on is so important because it could completely make or break you. And I know people like that. And sometimes if they dwell on something bad, they... No, it can be crippling. <laughs> so, that's the dweller, one. Three is the worker. You are definitely determined by nature. Ambitious, yet serene. Your strong work ethic plays a powerful role in your own self-esteem. Always conscious of what you can contribute. Nothing wrong with working your finger to the bone, although there's a higher risk for you to abandon your endeavors and become lazily withdrawn should you feel unappreciated. Okay, that's the work. Oh, yeah. And then four is the creator. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on. <laughs> well, I, th- I didn't know if you wanted to say something. Okay. Yeah, uh, wait, and four is the creator. Yeah, I'm just listening to the. Yeah, I like listening to like what would happen if I would have picked all of them. Right, but you're not a worker and you're not a dweller. No, I'm. I'm a fucking. You're traveler. a traveler at heart. I'm on the fucking road. And babe. then we have four, which is the creator. You are a visionary through and through. Warm and inviting, yet unpredictable. Placing so much emphasis on your imagination, it becomes easy for you to find new and unique ways to solve problems. Your biggest concern should be revolved around impatience. It is easy to get carried away with visions and dreams, but patience is everything. Great works do not always come to fruition overnight. Okay, that is true. In fact, sometimes great works take years <laughs> to come together, so you have to be patient. Um, so you're the traveler, that's that. We're moving on here. Um, 
to pathways. So you chose who you are, and now you got to choose a path. So you have to pick a number between one through four. You'll get a path. like death to a dweller, and yet the dweller type can handle it well. So you will persevere simply because of your constant steady nature. Loneliness is almost second nature to the traveler likewise, which is you. There won't be much of an issue for you, traveler, as you're fine with or without a companion. Um, the worker will endure heaps of stress and discontent on this path unless you are the type who likes to work alone. Because of the Creator's unpredictable nature, loneliness is likely to be embraced. It can be painful, but <coughs> most great works are born from pain and misery. That's true. A lot of people don't I realize that. Um, but what it says for you as the traveler is you're going to be fine either way on the lonely path because you can go it alone or you can have a companion. You don't care, one or the other, it's fine. Right? Well, you're a great companion. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm no, glad. No, 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 Otherwise no, you would have tossed me out 10 years ago. No, no, man, yeah. yeah, 10 yeah. years. Yeah, you would have tossed me out fast. What did my mother say? How can you put up with them? I, that lady. But the thing is, is she's she knows. amazed. <laughs> she knows. She's amazed, like, like because. Yeah. I. What what right. what makes me so unbearable though? I don't understand. Um, I I I thought I was a picture perfect product. You you definitely are very um, hard headed, which runs in the family, and um, you are. But am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You're just. Unbearably, <laughs> unbearably set in your own way. I mean, it's your way or the highway. That's that's basically. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. I, I'm right. But, um, right. I, I, I can tell the future. I can. I can now, the only I, thing I, I have a good that, head. right, but the only thing that makes this just, livable is you accept me for who I am. Because if you didn't, if you didn't have acceptance, this, the, this would not work. <laughs> no, no. This would not work. We accept each other, so. I I, un, I understand the unbearable pain it's gonna take to get this successful. Right. But um, but am I am I right though? Right about what? I mean, because now you gotta be specific. I mean, right I, about I, what? I really right in general in, about most things. Yes. In the right direction. Right. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. I haven't failed so far. No. No. Um. So, do you want to know about the other pathways? Yeah. Maybe I can get through this quickly? I don't know. So you picked loneliness, which was three, and this is one conflict. So you're going to pick a path of conflict. That's what it's... Well, you didn't pick that, but this is what you could have picked. <laughs> you're going to experience a lot of conflict in most areas of life, and double if you were a dweller. If you are a traveler, that's you, you will be able to overcome much of your conflict by choosing the path of least resistance. If you are a worker, you will be able to rise to the occasion and confront a majority of your conflict with ease. And if you are the creator, your only problem is a lack of consistency when dealing with any areas of life. So when met with conflict, you got to come correct. Patience. Think before you act, because it's better to have a solid plan than show up to a fight ill-equipped. At least you're not as stubborn as the dweller. So that's good. But yeah, you, um, it says choose the path of least resistance for you. When confronted with conflict. Two is harmony. You want the path of, <laughs> you want to hear about the path of harmony, mister? 
Luckily, you will lead a very harmonious existence, yet it comes with a lot of dedication and effort. The dweller is definitely at home with this path. If you are such, your steady demeanor will ensure that you maintain a harmonious life. If you're the traveler, you will experience bouts of restlessness at times, since you gain more wisdom from conflict. So it says you need conflict. The worker will definitely thrive on this path, although harmony is something that almost that's almost non-existent, as people rarely come together to achieve a common goal. The creator, like that of the traveler, tends to thrive on chaos and changeable environments. So while harmony is all well and good, they're in it for the story, not the happily ever after. And I would agree with yeah. that. I'm in it for the story. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That makes sense. That makes more sense than anything. Very, very I good. like that. That's very good. You write that? Yes. It's very good. Yeah, I wrote all this. <laughs> At that point, I've never been in this. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's really yeah. It's very good. And, uh, so you know loneliness? You picked loneliness. Yeah, your pain. but I believe in loneliness. It says you're going to be fine anyway. But you need pain for understanding. That's right. That's right. Especially if you're going to travel. Popularity. That's right. Four is popularity. If you, if you chose that path. This, uh, is, this is a difficult path for a dweller type. Because being popular is not always glamorous. It will either be met with scorn from you or obsession. In other words, you'll either love it completely or hate it. For the traveler type, it will be detestable. For you will constantly search for the exit at any event. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be looking for the exit, definitely. <laughs> um, like people grabbing at you? No, that's not going to work. For you, uh, yeah, you will search for the exit any at any event. It's nice to feel loved, but this this is just too excessive. The worker will n not. Uh, okay. <laughs> and the <laughs> the worker will. Uh, Mister. I know. I know. I know. Okay. You want to hear the rest of this? Okay. So the worker. Um, will not care less about popularity. Progress is the only concern. No time for ass kissing here. The creator is likewise not concerned with popular approval. You will shit on the floor in front of everyone at a public event before you'll bask in the glory of your accomplishments, and that's true. That's a true creator. <laughs> that's someone who doesn't give a shit about the fame. And, um, no, no, no. That's that's where that's my lifelong dream. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. It's like you know when I made it big is right. when I show up at work and I get on intercom and I just scream with a this bloody curling scream. Right. Everybody, come up front right now. Right. And I pull my pants down and I. Take a shit and masturbate at the same <laughs> oh my time. God. Because wow. I'm a millionaire. But guess what? <laughs> you don't care. You would never forget this fucking face. Because fuck you, motherfucker. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. And I'm gonna shit all over the floor and leave excrement everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna roll in it. Scary. Really and scary. I'm gonna smile at you and say, "Bitches, <laughs> it's my time." Right. Okay. <laughs> not, not today. Now, Mister. No, no, not um, today though. Not today. No, I mean, wait, 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 okay, okay, wait, yeah, okay. wait, <laughs> wait, not today though. Right. I, okay. It ain't happening. Right. Okay. So. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. Did but I say it? Uh, everything's fine. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, everything is Not fine. today. Okay. Not Mr. today, okay. but maybe tomorrow. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, but okay, not. No. We're good. Right. Good. Okay. <laughs> we're good okay, right now. silly guy. Okay. <laughs> I ain't hit her yet. Wow. Okay. That, that's just a daydream. This is scary. I'm sorry. 
Okay. That no, not not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Mister, um, here's the last part of the game, and um, yeah. These options, um, you'd have to pick a number between one through eight. And this is actually this is actually going to determine whether you pick the same path twice. If you pick the one same through path eight. twice, one through eight, pick one number between Five. three. One through eight. Five. So let's look. <laughs> it's a blank page. What happened? No, here it is. <laughs> here it is. I got it. Okay. Now. You did not pick the same path twice, okay? Your your pick was loneliness, the lonesome path. Now, you picked five here, and if you picked five or seven, it's popularity. So this is not the same path, but let me read what it says. You're simply an attention whore if this is the second time you chose to walk this path. No one will love you. But you'll always have pussy in abundance and never know exactly why your bank account is being depleted. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> All right. This and, is game um, I was, I'm going to have to end this show. Great. Um, a fantastic song. Yeah, soon? Nice. I got Do you want, to, want me to read these last uh, three that are short okay. here? Okay. If you picked one or three... You picked the That's conflict the path, and it says. Hey, why you gotta look so pretty? Um, if that. okay, so if this why is the yeah, bad if this is the so second the time, time <laughs> if this is the second time you chose conflict, then you're just a glutton for punishment. But at least you have a big dick, okay? And if you <laughs> if you picked four or two, that's the harmony path. If this is the second time you chose this path, you are truly at peace with yourself and your accomplishments in life. Nice. And if you picked eight or six, you pick the lonely path again. And it says, you can safely say you're the reason why you're utterly alone. If this is the second time you chose the lonesome path, you make everyone who cares you make everyone who comes your way cry. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. We're done. We are done. But what I think is funny is you went from the, the lonesome path, and then you chose the path of popularity last minute. Well, Mister, you know, it's really hot. You know. What are you doing with Tobias? I just like to, you know, I like to keep it flavorful. Okay. That sounds about right. And, you know, what I'm about to give you right now is another taste. Okay. Do you hear those sweet sounds? Yes, I do. The I'm sampling. I mean, I, you're I always don't... sitting to the side, okay? No. All right, so are you are you doing a uh, piano piece, or? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, honey, we're, we're wrapping this up. Yeah. Yeah, we're wrapping it up, you said.
Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> alright, tune in next week. Bitches. Bitches.